Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Future Trader with Mike, and today is Friday, the 27th of May, going into a holiday weekend, and I'm um, looking at the E mini SP, guys. That is the ES futures uh, for all those that trade in the future markets. Um, I'm a price action, price action trader, guys. If it's your first time viewing the channel, I trade based on price action, following price action, but I, I really like to use just a simple strategy of um, looking at what's going on in a higher time frame or so. Uh, if we're tapping into an area of supply or demand, and then I scale down and I start looking at my uh, lower time frame, which is my anchor chart, my 12 range chart, to see if price is going to start breaking structure. So, meaning that if we're into an area of supply on the 60 range chart, which is my higher time frame chart, I scale down to a 12 range chart, say for instance, and see if we're going to start making lower lows and lower highs, start chopping to the downside. And then my go to strategy is looking forward to tracing back to a particular area off the 12 range, particularly maybe an area of supply on the 12 range. So um, that's kind of how I trade. It gives me enough confirmation and uh, to enter on a sale if that, in case that happens. On the flip side, prices hitting at or tapping into an area of demand off of the 60 range chart. Um, then I look over at my or scale down to my 12 range chart to see if we start breaking structure to the upside, making higher highs and higher lows. So, and then looking for retracement. So uh, it's a pretty simple strategy that I use. I've been using it for years, guys. Um, I've been trading for 10 years now, solid for eight years plus now. Um, and I always have a saying, guys, it should be green every day um, and not red, meaning that you should be profiting every day, not say you will not have a losing trade or you know where you break even or may have a losing trade whatever the case is um, but the key to trading is always knowing before you execute a trade where to get in and get out at before you enter the trade okay that's the key it's one of the number one things that i always look for okay so uh everyone who has currently subscribed to the channel thank you for doing so that means you that you have hit that red button for me uh or for us because you're on the team now um so thank you for all the loyal subscribers who have, who have hit the subscribe button as well as the little bell icon next to it which is the post notification that will ensure that you never miss one of the uploads here on the channel first time viewers hopefully and thankfully for watching this morning hopefully you will go ahead and hit that subscribe button so i'll give you a couple seconds there we'll give you five seconds all right so hopefully you've already hit that sub button guys and if you don't mind hit that bell icon as well so that you never miss one of the uploads great content here guys i um these are my live recorded sessions to where I uh, show my um, live trades each and every day, and I post them five days a week, guys. Five days a week. So let's go ahead and take a look at the um, the market. Um, before I get started, guys, um, I'm I, I going to continue saying this. If you have not um, and you're interested in purchasing in purchasing any of the content, meaning the books um, that I have links to down in the video description below, so you'll find them in the description of this video below. Links to eight eight great books that i've uh posted down below um to help pretty much anyone out that may be a beginner and immediate profession it doesn't matter guys because as i say this in many videos um no matter how long we've been that you've been trading it's always good to broaden your, the horizon meaning broaden the mindset to continue to educate yourself about uh, markets okay and there's great books in there that teach you some of them teach you about the fundamentals some of the technical side of trading um you have a market structure cover market structure price action um just a, a lot of some of them are, 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 are give great tips on um strategies so take a look at some of the the uh, links down below to some of the books guys they're highly recommended i know you guys have been asking about uh book content or books that i uh would, would recommend there they go they're down below so take a look at them okay uh so simply just click on the links and you can make a purchase okay so let's go ahead and take a look at the, the market. Uh, I'm a little late this morning. Um, I wasn't going to trade today because I pretty much, you know, had a pretty good week. So I, I went ahead and just kind of told myself that hey, I don't really need to trade today going to a holiday weekend. Not sure what's going to happen on Friday with the holiday on Monday. Might just chop sideways. Not sure. But one thing we have been doing uh, since the 20th of May, we've been kind of making uh, higher highs and higher lows back up to the upside, upside here. We finally broke this area overnight, guys. This high right here at uh, 95, so that's pretty. That's a plus, okay. So we we are kind of um, kind of. Well, I guess I kind of we are bullish. Um, so in looking at the higher time frame, um, I mean even yesterday we just kept pushing higher, higher. You can see yesterday was just a, a bull market in a sense. We just 
all these green candles. But I was uh, still kind of looking for shorts in this area here when price, you know, in this area here with this big swing to the downside. But we broke through that now. So, um, yeah, let's take a look and see what the market could possibly do. Um, looking at my chart. All right, so it looks like right here we do have an area of a little area of supply sitting right here um, off the 60 range chart. So what I'm going to do now is look over my lower time frame chart, my 12 range, and I can see that it's, okay, it's already breaking structure as we speak right now. So actually this, this little pullback right here probably would have been a short entry if you're looking. I wouldn't take it off my 12 range, probably my 4 range. So this was at 1032, this area right here. Okay, but we're so close to the VPOC, so be careful. But yeah, we are hitting in the area of supply off of the uh, 60 range chart. Okay, we have a big swing to the downside right here. And this is an area of supporting swing. Um, actually, let me take a look at one thing. Um, bum, 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 bum. Let me think of something. Let me look at one thing, guys. I wasn't paying attention here. Actually, yeah, so right here, price is bouncing. You can see it. We're at a high volume area on the 60 range. Let's see if price is going to continue breaking to the downside. Um, probably will, so let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, excuse me, guys. What? Let's see. Yeah, we're still breaking to the downside here. So, um, yeah, you see, market just been pushing higher and higher here. But all this choppy activity up to the upside. So, we've been, you know, these small little higher highs and higher lows chopping to the upside. So, let's see. Price broke there. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna wait and see, guys. Cause we're at the VPOC now, so let me let me be careful here about trading anything at this current time. Cause this could be just a pullback to go higher. So, but we are hitting in an area where uh, an area, you know, pretty much where there's a lot of resistance at right here. Um, there's an area of supply sitting here where price could reject from so uh yeah we'll see Ooh. yeah there's a little I'm late on this trade a little short right here on this pullback right here but it's off the micro swing uh, didn't get into it. We're so close to the VPOC right now, so I'm looking for a better trade. So maybe we'll get a, I don't know, maybe run back up into this area here. You know, it's like price pull right back to, to um, resistance right here and rejected and pushed lower, trying to push lower. So then test this area up in here. So we'll see. <clears throat> yep. Price is pulling back, it's bouncing off the VPOC again. You can see on the four range. Ugh. Not sure if I take too many trades today. Just trying to get a little content here for you guys. And um, I'm not sure what the market's going to do. So, um, trying to see where the market opened up at. Where it opened up at? We're opened up at and pushed higher, see if there was any entries. Um, all right. Uh, press test in this area right here. 
Uh, price is bouncing off of this area right here. Okay. Small area demand sitting right here. It's bouncing off of it. Let's see, this is higher. Yeah. Okay, I missed that trade there. It, we, it's right here at the, the BPOC, so that's why I'm not taking that, guys. It's too close to the BPOC. So it, it hit that six that sixty range supply area and rejected it, of course. Uh, breaking structures to the downside, pushing down, pulling back, and pushing lower. It tested this area here where there was, you know, uh, off the six twelve range, excuse me, twelve range with the supply at. Rejected to push lower, broke lower. So it broke broke the low here of this swing, and now I'm looking for a test up here where this high volume area is right here. Where I had this red line marked at. Yeah, um, it may come down here and test this area down here. Uh, hmm. I just don't know. I tested this already. I'm not going to trade around the deep part, guys. I'm staying down here. Ah, uh, there was a short right here. I didn't take it right here. Candle close. It was so close to the lows. And we we're at the B pod. I knew it was going to run down here. Test this low here, but I just didn't take the trade. It was just too close to the B pod. It's all right. Okay, let's see. Um. Yeah, let's see. Hmm. Ah, should take the rejection. I hit the tops, but I wasn't really looking at the mark. Well, I was doing my intro, so. Uh, but there was a short up here. Missed it. I missed the short. Let's see. Ah, uh, what's the market doing here? Man. Uh, I'm just trying to push lower. Don't want to get caught up in a bad trade. It just looks like it's trying to push lower to me. It does appear that way. Well, yes, in hindsight, this was a short. Price pushed down, pull back. This is a short. It's just the B pop is right here. Well, if you got to that trade, so that's the reason why I didn't take that trade. I should have taken this one here, but I'm sorry. But uh, the only question, it was questionable for two reasons. Uh, well, for one reason, really, is because we're so close to the lows already. But I should have got into it. All right. Market is pushing lower. We're moving through a low volume area, it looks like, right? So we could break here and just continue pushing out, testing this area down here. So my aim or goal would be for price to pull back to this area here if we do get the break to the down i mean back I'll pull back to the upside so I'm not sure if we will we'll see man all right the market pull back hitting right off the area of, of a resistance right here did not pull back to my area here yet so that does happen price will hit some, uh resistance right at support um testing the area kind of what they say with testing the area liquidity liquidity in a sense and the market makers are doing that sometimes they kind of um spook traders out get them trapped and stop them out but uh, sometimes it will it, it, the market will come back and hit the area with this support and then keep moving in the opposite direction like pull back here it could just 
hit this area right here and then boom break down sometimes a lot of times what you'll see most time it, a lot of times is market pull back to this area of resistance um the market push down a little bit and then trap traders push back up here to the area right here which I, you know it's a supply um aggressive selling right here and then the market shoot lower so um we'll see uh, right now you know we are been bullish the last few days but like i said we're, we're, we're testing areas uh where there's a lot of a lot of sellings in place that i'll tell you that right now so be mindful of that okay all right so i'm gonna be interested in the price comes back up here so we'll see Yeah, we're pretty much just a few ticks away, 16 and a half. Yeah, maybe, maybe a point away. Um, yeah. Look at the 24 range here. On the 24, we're actually tapping into that area. So, yeah. 13 and a quarter. Yeah, let's see what happens. <clears throat> hmm. Well, let's see. Uh, we're, we're right, right here, dead smack at the V block right now, so, um, yeah, let's see. Let's see if we get a break. Uh, yeah, I said 20. Um, let's see. Let's see if price breaks to down, so I'm not sure. Hmm. Yeah, it's just a slow. I I knew I mean, that's why I wasn't wasn't going to trade today because I knew the market was going to kind of do this more so kind of chop sideways. It pushed up a little bit, and um, now it's trying to chop sideways. I haven't even looked at the volume today. Market analyzer. Mm. Yeah. Let's see.
Man, Marcus not doing anything today. It's just, well, not anyways since I started trading. Could have taken two little maybe shorts, but um, I'm not sure. Looks like now I'm trying to break structure back to the upside. So, um, honestly, that you know price pulls back into um, this area right here, or maybe lower. You can look for loans right here. It's an area, or maybe a little lower. So I'm not sure yet. We'll see. But I am keeping my eye on this area right here for maybe an opportunity to go long. Right here. Just gonna draw draw it out. area right here if our price comes back to it we'll see but i'm not taking it until the price get back to it i'm just waiting for the rejection if price does get to there <clears throat> um hmm. i don't like uh huh. Um man, this is iffy here. I don't like um I mean I would take I would say you know shorten this area up top here, but we've tested this area already and I'm kind of reluctant about going short. Um Tested on the pullback right here, so and we got we got an area of price can bounce right below us right here. So even though price closed to the downside, I'm very skeptical about going short, guys. I really am. Yeah. Mm. Uh, not a lot going on here. Rotating at the tops right here. So, okay, let's see. Price to reject this area here again. Um, but it did close below. Uh, forty-one twenty-one yet. So I was trying to. I'm looking for. Okay, it's close here. Now if it pulls back, I'll go short. More likely, if it pulls back to this area right here, I'll mark it. If it, yeah, it depends. We'll see. It's testing it. Test. Yeah, I thought it was gonna break lower, pull back, but it didn't. Okay, so. That candle didn't close to the red to the downside. A lot of people probably were taking a trade, you know, right here. I see. It, here's let's see. Here's the thing. It didn't break forty one twenty one down to the downside yet. So that's why I didn't. I'm not short. Okay. Um. This is slow trading today, and I'm not even sure if I if I'm going to do. Um. If I'm going to take anything today, I'll be honest with you, because uh, yesterday I told myself I wasn't going to trade today, but I just jumped in and see what the markets were doing, but um, onto the charts. But um, not much, nothing that's interesting me, to be honest with you, um, at all. Um, price pulling back to test this area right here on the 12, you see it. Um, but the only problem is to me, it's not broke 41.21. To the downside, close with a red candle to the downside. So I'm not interested. Honestly, like, nah, not at all. 
You see what I'm saying, guys? It's right here, coming out of this area right here, bouncing, okay? Um, so you got to be careful with trades like this. You know, price pushed down here, came back, tested it right here, right? It was back. You could have went short again right here. Um, but here's the thing. Price pulled back and tested again. It, this market could, could push higher, okay? So like I said, the price comes, for some reason, you know, breaks lower and comes to test this area here. I'll be interested. Um, maybe going take a, take, taking a stab going along. But right now, not at all. Okay. Um, uh, let's see. <laughs> Trying to see what the market's doing here. <clears throat> hmm. Moving sideways here. It has not done much of anything since I started looking at the market around 10:30. Nothing other than this little push down here. Um, but you know, possible short here, possible short here. Uh, after that, really nothing to be honest with. Well, I mean, price came down and tested. It tests, um, let me see here. Yeah, it tests, um, a uh, level right here, if you can call it a little area of demand sitting right here. That's why it bounced here, but you got to be careful because, you know, price could, you got resistance right above you. So as price broke through that area of resistance, I'm looking for a pullback now. Price hasn't tested this area yet. Okay. All right. Let's see. Um. Yeah. Price could bounce here. Went off a little micro. Okay. I'm just taking a quick stab. Crazy little stab. Long. Okay. All right. Quick little feel there. Off the micro range, just going for a couple of ticks right there. Nothing much. I'm scalping, guys. I really would like to see it. Um, let's take a look here. Yeah, that was the long right there. Off of, this is straight off the four range, guys. You don't want to see it here on the, on the 12 range. Um, price had this high here. Reverse, sorry, you know, push lower um, and a low. Lower high, lower low, then it turns back around, breaking back into structure, you know, breaking structure up to the upside, taking this area here, or breaking back into this swing right here to the downside, pushing higher, supporting swing right here, or a little area of demand sitting right here. This red candle, I draw it for you. Okay, it's breaking lower now. We're at the VPOC, the VPOC shifted up. So, little area of demand, price pulls back to it, closing the green candle right here, I went along just to the tops, okay? Not much at all, not much, but hey, I'm just just, <laughs> just trying to scout for something today because I'm not, you know, the market's not doing diddly today uh, on my end so far. Now, if we get a run back down here to the downside, I'd be interested, okay? So, let's see. All right, so price is trying to break this area, isn't it? Let's see. Let's see if it breaks this area here. I want to see it come back down to this area here, guys, to be honest with you. This is my interest right here. All right, let's see. Uh, there was a little long right here you could have taken, um, but that's, you know, I, I would have taken it because we're sitting right here at the VPOC. This is price pulling back to this area right here where price broke back into the structure, making structure to the upside, I mean breaking structure, making higher highs and higher lows, and taking out structure over here to the left-hand side. Price pulls back to it, closes um, 
bring to the upside. Um, yeah, you can, let's see here. Yeah, you can go along pretty much. Um, just be careful though. Be careful because you got the big pocket right here. This is trade off micro swings though. Yeah, that's all I'm saying, guys. Be careful when price is tested in an area already once. See, it came back up and tested it again. It tested it, pulled back, and it's pushed higher. So I thought that's what it was going to do. Price is just playing around, trading sideways. Not much activity going on today in the market, uh, to be honest with you. So uh, a little frustrating, but it is what it is. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to take a... I don't know. Yeah, market is ugh, ridiculous. What it, what it is, to be honest with you. Yeah, be careful. Be careful trading this mess today. I will say that. Mm. <laughs> Price could continue pushing higher. Yeah, the market's not doing much today. I did. Um, I thought I was recording, but I took a short <clears throat> on a uh, right here. Price pulled back. I'll show it to you in a minute. Just back down to the lows right here. So I'm just scalping right here, and I'll show it to you in the full range. This was off the full range chart. Um, let's see if I can pull up my chart markers here. Let's see. There it goes right there. Short, back down to here. Okay. Quick little short, scalping um, for a few ticks there. I just haven't had too many opportunities because the market's really not hitting in areas where I'm really interested in trading it. So, um, just saying something. Look at looking here in the market. Uh, yeah, I see it pull back and tested this area right here already. I want to see it come down here, guys. This, this is my area of interest right here. I'm telling you, if it comes down here, I think we're going to get some kind of rejection right here. So be mindful of this area right here because I'm interested right here. We'll see. Um, hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Not sure here. Um shoot. Yeah, I'm going to pull back to this area right here. Price is bouncing off of it. Um, I'm just going to scout this area, guys. Could push up to here. Ah, 
That's not what I wanted to do. So. Yep. I'll be right back, guys. Yeah, the market came out and filled one of my contracts. That was it, right? Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna take out here. Hmm. Come on. Do not like the pace of the market today. Ah. Horrific, horrific, horrific. I think I'm going to take out, guys, to be honest with you. I'm going to get out this trade. Yeah, I'm taking out. I don't like this. See, so yeah, it's just not moving quick enough the way I want it, what I'm looking for it to do, and it's just bouncing too much for me. Rejected this area. Um, Come on. <sighs> Got myself on a little sticky trade. Time to get out. What a bus, but a bus today. Today is not a good day to be trading. 
All right. I'm out. Getting out, guys. I had to scale in to cover my con cover my position. I don't know. I may run down here. Did it break this area again yet? No. Yeah, I'm, I'm out. I'm not going to uh, play around this V-pot like this. Mm -hmm. So it ran up here and tested this area right here. Close below. You go short, but the short is very... I saw where it took that one contract and it turned back around. Tested it again. So be careful here because it's probably trying to push to the upside now. Um, possibly. But like I said, I do want to see it. I'd be interested if it came down this area down here. So I'm not 100% sure what it's actually trying to do. It's moving sideways right close to the beat. Um, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it's trying to. My short was good. Should have stayed in it, but got out. Um, we'll see. Ah, today's a bust. Today is not a solid day of trading here. I say that. Um. Yeah. So, we'll see what happens. It's just chopping today. I mean, it's slow grinding to the upside is what it's doing. Slow grinding to the upside. You can see it. I don't know. Maybe if it came back down here, I'll take a stab. Take a quick little entry long off a little micro level down here or area down here of interest. I don't know. We'll see. But it could pull back right here, reject and push higher. So <clears throat> it's just one of those days today. I haven't had one of these in a while. But I, I expected this Friday going into the. Um, Friday going into the, the weekend, Memorial Day. Um, I don't know. I got my eye right here. Let's see. Uh, I want to see price come lower. Man, I'm just having to scout this market today, guys. Hmm. Not good. Ah. ah, it's driving me crazy. <laughs> okay, we got a field there, a little trade. It's right back up here to this area right here. 
Not much, guys. I am going to probably call it a day. Um, I wasn't even going to trade today. I was supposed to trade today, I should say, because I knew the market would be like this going to the weekend. And uh, I want to take a look and see what volume is like. Yeah, look at volume. Volume is, uh, eh, it's okay. It's decent. It's not, it's, it's a little lower than what you normally would see on the ES. Um, so that goes to show you that not extremely too much volume in the market today. But um, it's one of those days, guys. Maybe the market will come down here, get a rejection. Maybe I can go long. We'll see. All right here where the red line is at. If you can come down here, turn back around and close green to the upside. I don't know. We'll see. We are close to the big pot, guys. So, okay, mighty close to the big pot, though. So, gotta be careful here. We are in a V box, so it could keep it could keep pushing lower. Yeah, it looks like it's breaking lower. Trying to break lower. Hmm. I mean, it was a short right here. Close this red candle, but back down to the bottom, though, like I said. So this is tight. Market's tight today. It's, it's not giving too much opportunities to really get into good a good trade. So I don't know if the market's going to keep pushing lower, but this is my area of interest if, if the market can come down here. Right here. Trading way into the lunch hour. I normally don't trade this time of day at all. But today I don't really have too too much to do, so I'm just taking my chances. Come on, baby. Oh, I'm long. Maybe I can finally get a decent trade here for a point or two. I mean, a point, something like that, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Six. Uh, come on. It's 
Marcus has been bouncing around all morning long. It's almost one o'clock. Look at that. That's playing around. Come on, hit it. Craziness today. I just can't take no more of this market today, guys. I'm getting out. <laughs> We're in like from uh, three or four ticks from where I, where I need to get out of it. It's, it's probably going to test this area here. I'll show you with the arrow line right here. Back up to the tops right here. But I'm done. I don't, this, this market is just not... When I get to a trade, I can see the market moving. It starts teetering around, pausing like it's doing, then I'm getting out. There we go. See? It's going to test this area right here. Right around 26, 26 and a half. But I'm done today. I'm calling it today. I'm when he's supposed to be trading today. Nope. It's all good. It is all, there it goes. Look at it. I say 26, right? There you go. All right. Yeah, guys, I'm going to call it for today. There it goes. Run right to the top, like I said. Okay. Uh, I could have stayed in, picked up that point, point and a half, whatever the case is. But it's okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and call it today. Still, you know, making some profit today. Uh, even scalping along. Market's not giving any good swings um, in any areas to really take good trades from. So I'm really having to depend more off the full range chart than anything. Don't get chopped up in this stuff here because you're not really getting, you know, good uh, pullbacks or to areas that give you enough room to trade from. So be careful if you're trading today. Please be safe in the market. I'll see you guys, not Monday because Monday is a holiday, uh, on Tuesday. Be back up on the um, screen here on YouTube, on the channel, trading. And uh, I'll see you guys on, on Tuesday. If you're trading, please be safe in the market. I think I've already said that. And, yeah, if you, if you have it and you're interested in any other uh, – Reading material covering surrounding trading, you know, the, the books down in the video description um, covering different a variety of different topics surrounding trading. Um, so they're good educational books to read. Pick up one if you um, are interested, whatever the case is. But I'll be honest with you, if you really want to broaden your mindset about trading, I highly recommend reading. Reading and 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 the books I listed are solid books, guys. All of them have good ratings. So. Martha trying to push up higher. So, all right, guys, that's all I have for you today. I'm going to close the video out and I'll see you on Tuesday. Take care.